What's up you guys? Look what I got in the mail today! It is the young version of Outback or Stuart Selkirk. Now, I'm really excited to have him. Apparently in the US you don't get him until way later, but he just got here today. Got him in the mail and we're gonna look at him right now. I'm gonna make this real quick. So right here is the box, front of the box, plastic free packaging compared to the original Outback release where you still could see the actual figure in the box. You have a very sort of stylized, drawn version of Stuart here, which I'm not a huge fan off of. I rather would have had this right here, up there, and this down there, or something like that. You can see some more artwork on the side here. Not that bad. Some helicopters right there, and some other stuff. I don't know what that is. Here you can see what he comes with. These are pretty much the exact same accessories that you got for the old version of him. You can see these weird symbols again, which I don't know what they mean. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to correct me in the comments. You can see how tall he is right there. Some posing right there. You can see the logos right there again. He is the 36th in the line and we're also done with the box. Not much going on for the top or for the bottom. So let's take him out of the box. We're going to do this on camera as we always do. We're going to cut the bottom. There it is. That has been severed. Now we're gonna take him out. Again, plastic free, so I don't know what to expect with him. Let's take him out. There he is. Oh, dang. That is not bad. Box is empty. Here he is. We'll take a look at him in a second. He's looking pretty cool. So you have the accessories in this really cool stylized sort of ammo box, cardboard container here again. Very nice, very simple. Take it out. Very nicely packaged in the Cobra style and G.I. Joe style sandwich bag. You can just rip off. Oh no, there goes the ammo clip. There he is. All right, let's take out the accessories. There we go. That was that. So let's take a look at the accessories first before anything else. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can. All right, there is his backpack. It's the exact same as the previous release. However, this is in a, a lot more tan color or a lighter brown color compared to the other one. We'll do a side by side in a second, but it's the exact same accessories. Same with the assault rifle. This again is a harder plastic. You can't move it. The ammo clip does go into the ammo, uh, into the gun, I think. There we go. It's a I might, I might have put it in the wrong way. Let's put it in this way. There we go. So it does go into the gun. That's what it looks like right there. Looking pretty good. I hope you guys can see it well. Again, my lighting isn't the best. You have his, his sort of tactical shovel right there. Pretty straightforward stuff. All cast in a simple plastic, simple red plastic. The same pistol as we've gotten before. You have the nice sort of wrap around the grip right there, which is a nice touch. You have this combat knife. Pretty nice, simple, black plastic, gray paint or silver paint. And you have his flashlight. This is it cast in a black plastic compared to the previous version, which was cast in a sort of gray plastic. And that is that. Now. <laughs> Let's go for Outback, and he looks like he's been in the sun for a little bit. It doesn't show as well on my video here as it does in person. Let's take out this bad boy. I'm really excited for him. There he is, already falling out of the package. Let's get rid of this, we don't want this. So here is the young Stuart slash Selkirk Outback, whatever you want to say, and he's looking good. And he, his hair has some really nice dry brushing i believe and some weathering which i was not expecting to be that prominent because i've seen like pictures and his hair did not look this good let me see if i can get a better close-up right there again i apologize for my lighting it is not the best but this is what he looks like his hair isn't a single color instead it has a wash there's highlighting right there some light orange highlights we have some nice like he's, he's he has a darker skin tone than the original release his beard also has some very nice 
weathering, some dry brushing. You can see a lot of dark colors and dark browns, light browns. His bandana, instead of being blue, I think it is green. I think the other one was blue. Now, there is unfortunately a little bit of paint that have, has been missed on the sculpt. You can see a slight uh, sculpt line for the bandana right there that has not been painted. Doesn't bother me too much though. You have his classic survival on his t-shirt here. I mean, it is basically just a repaint or yeah, just a repaint of the original, but the younger version, I don't have the original. I know that Cell Collect has the original. So Cell Collect, I will refer you to my trusty casual squad. Now his pants look like this. They're a lighter green tone, a more olive green. I think the original had a more, I guess, sort of, um, like gray tone we have some nice darker greens right there is straps everything is the same his straps have a lighter color to them so there's that his boots down here his knife sheath right there very nice pinless by the way just like the original very nice gotta appreciate some of that pinless technology i guess and uh, yeah it, the articulation is also the exact same so his head is on a dumbbell joint. Yeah, dumbbell joint right there, which allows him to look up this far, which is not too bad if you ask me. His head looks, ooh, if you don't crunch him down, his head looks down that far. His but arms have butterfly joints. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they do exist. I know that it's not the best lighting again. I apologize. They do exist and they work, which is nice. You can see some nice movement right there. They move out up this far i don't want to stretch it anymore but there it is past 90 which is great he has upper biceps rotation he does have double jointed elbows which go very far i mean for having that much muscle he's looking good has a nice range of movement he does oops, sorry let's take his arm down here he does not have boot or he does not have glove rotation but you can rotate his arms does have a vertical horizontal he has a horizontal hinge on his right trigger finger whereas to his left hand also trigger finger has a horizontal hinge which is nice i i don't know why it's the other way around though i wish that you would have the horizontal the vertical hinge on his right and the horizontal on his left but it's the other way around i don't know if in the comics he's left-handed or something i don't know he can crunch down this far which is not bad back very good amount. I mean, he broke his back basically. He does have a torso rotation, if you guys can see it right there, which allows him to go all the way around if you like. Can do some side to side, some pivoting right there, which is nice. His legs kick out very far. You can twist his upper thighs a little bit so that he can kick up higher. He does have double jointed knees, which allow him to go <laughs> this far, way past 90. Look at that movement. He does have boot rotation, which is nice. And his boots go up that far. They go down this far. And of course, as we all know, he does have beautiful ankle pivot. Look at that ankle pivot. <laughs> so yeah, he's a basically just a reskin, uh, repaint. Yeah, he does have drop down legs. I don't know much about drop down, but he does have drop down. You can drop them down here, which allows him to kick up higher than usually. So that's nice. Oh yeah, he can kick back this far which is nice here they are next to each other they look pretty good now they are the exact same action figure the exact same sculpt everything else is the exact same however if you take them down to the face what i noticed is that for the original release the eyes have been perfectly painted however for this one the right eye has the, the paint's been missed a little bit it's not perfect the left eye works just fine, and there's a lot more vibrant blue, but the right eye, it just it just sticks out. It looks a bit weird. And also, I feel like the weathering looks a lot better on the original, whereas to this guy, because his skin tone is a lot more tan than this one, if you compare skin tones. So it looks a bit weird. Now, he's a great figure, because it's the exact same sculpt, but it, it is noticeable, I have to say. That's pretty much the only thing that really bugs me because one eye is bigger than the other the rest looks fine though again it's the exact same sculpt you can see the paint differences again it's a lot more uh, it's a lot less vibrant right there compared to here 
of course you have the orange shirt because I mean this is Tiger Force so obviously he has that Tiger shirt on but very much less vibrant you also have the arm hair the lower arm hair in red and in gray on the other one so that's nice again the harness is the exact same just a darker on the original same with the backpacks let me get this one here the backpacks are also the exact same just in a darker color tone oh, in a dark color tone on the original whereas this one has a lighter one i do believe i like this one better because if i were to just give this a wash it would bring out so much of the details which i do enjoy whereas to the brown one would probably be a bit more difficult to bring out the details but yeah, but uh, you know, you can store the guns on his backpack and the shovel right there. I decided to give him the pistol. So yeah, that that's already pretty much it. I just want to do a quick review on this guy. Again, he's not much different from the original, so I didn't want to spend too much time reviewing him because, again, it's just a reuse. But he's looking okay. I, I like it. I love that there's weathering in the hair. I like that they kept that from the original as well. The original had weathering just as well but not as noticeable as on this one since he actually has some darker tones and lighter tones again the survival on the chest is really nice i i enjoy it it's it's a really cool character i love bearded characters so that definitely adds to it the only thing again that does bug me is the face paint it's not the best but it does do something but yeah that was the review of the new or slash younger outback selkirk whatever you want to say it Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this figure or this review. And I will see you guys in my next review. And until then, I'll be Bye-bye.